So we have, um... <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, we're Minecraft Steve versus the SS. Minecraft Steve versus Metroid Samus, no suit edition. Very cool. Minecraft unsuited Samus. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Metroid Minecraft... unsuited Samus. But what if ZSS had flip kick and minecart? <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What if she had Notice. flip kick, anvil, and minecart? Yeah. What if she could just <laughs> she could just uh, kill you horizontally, vertically, and uh, and just drop a friggin' uh, anvil on you, and you can't really contest it. Now, to be fair, she's uh, she doesn't quite have an anvil, but she does kind of have hard hits of her own like that. That can oh, Jeez. he's gone. Goodbye, Minecraft. Great Steve. punish. Don't need another portal to go to hell on, on this one. Goodbye, Stevenson. <laughs> Stevenson. <laughs> Hello, my name is Minecraft Stevenson. The Koyo Redstone. See, like, okay, so is it just me when I say that, like, walking away and mining? I know that it makes sense because you want to make space and you want to get your resources, but there's something so disrespectful about it. It's like, yeah, I could take space and, uh. And just the way that, you. like, Steve walks and, like, all of his animations look really, like, uncomfortable. Look at that! Like, the biggest one is when he falls asleep in the air. It just looks really weird. Oh, yeah. Yo, um. It's so hard for me to tell. I still haven't gotten used to it. Telling when uh, Steve is in hit stun. No, uh, just him just wag wagging his little, little legs really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. All right, minecart. A very good approaching tool. Oh man. TNT. Oh yeah, I heard it. That's so cool that that's in the game. I heard the, the cracking noise of his legs, uh, of, yeah. his, of the sticks that he calls legs as they break. Under the weight of his body and all, <laughs> all those stuff that he's collected. Yeah, man. Dude, he's got an anvil, a mine cart, all that in his pocket. No, he doesn't oh. have it. He makes it instantly, <laughs> which is another, which is also very be. disrespectful. Sort of oh, he needs yeah. to use a crafting table to make all that. Come on, guys. Come yeah. on. He, Come dude, on, he's Nintendo. Got, he, he's got time to run a workshopping class while you're trying to play neutral with him. <laughs> he just builds he, a mine. He's not having it. And several train yeah. tracks. How Hi guys, you? this is my house. I ran out of wood, so I made part of it with dirt. Oh, also, let me forward smash this guy. All right, so back to the tutorial. He has a lot of iron. Holy crap! There's actually there is a limit, um, which I think he's well, he was at it, I think, but then he used the anvil and minecart there. It's like a quarter. You can only get total or a fifth. Uh, it's somewhere around a third, I think. You can actually see individual notches for the bars, um, yeah, you see but that. my screen's a little bit small, so I cannot count them. But I think it's, uh, I want to say like 12 feet, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure when it's solid and there's no more notches, the thing's at max iron. Oh, oh I didn't know it did that. When it's all smooth. Oh, he was <laughs> yeah, he's trying to go for those Twitter combos. Just my real talk, like I don't mean it as a disrespectful thing, but legitimately, if there's a question in your mind about like what you should be doing, my part seems like very difficult to. Oh, you know, you didn't have to take my advice like right now. Really good call out, honestly. Yes. He's like, I think you're gonna try to go for that burst of speed, and you're gonna try to jump out immediately. So you're gonna try to like have that that uh, that minecart, and uh, Monkai just punched it perfectly. I mean, Jeez. like, it's such a good option. It's understandable that a read would revolve around that, too. Especially because, again, like, ZSS can put herself up to those heights at those speeds with very little commitment. Like, the worst that would have happened there is if she guessed wrong is like, oh, I'll catch, what, a steep forward air, maybe? But that was good. That was a solid call out. Yeah, and then that one as well. That was a Reset yeah, that was a guard. really good uh, punish on the uh, flip kick right there. Mm -hmm. And then he tried to hit him with the um, with the TNT down smash thing, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, for those of you who don't know, although I think it made a pretty big run around Twitter and whatnot, is that if you down smash with uh, Steve on TNT and then just basically hold or mash uh, shield, you'll air dodge and not get hit by the TNT explosion, but you'll put it out right above you, or right on you, really. 
That can be good for the ledge. Look at how Uh is mixing up his landings here too with the anvil. Trying to keep himself as uh, hard to catch as possible. Really? Was that a misinput? No. Beats me. I. That would be uh, some kind of big brain play to mine in front of your opponent when they're shielding. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll call. All offense to uh, get my resources back. I'm not in a hurry. This is uh, this is definitely a song. Is it? Uh, it's from Minecraft. It's called Toys on a Tear. I've never, I've never heard it before. Um, yeah. So my understanding was that they couldn't get songs from the official Minecart, uh, Minecart, the um, <laughs> Minecraft itself, but they got stuff from like uh, Minecraft Story Mode and I think Dungeons. Not mistaken. But, yeah, no, there's like there's like ten songs in um there's like ten songs in the original Minecraft, but they were all like very ambient for like obvious reasons because it wasn't like an action series. Although I will be honest, I would have loved to hear like a remix of just one of them just to see what they would have done. That would have been pretty cool. I think there's also copyright issues with the original game's music. Living. Minecart's still there, by the way. That minecart, if uh, Bankai had been farther back, still would have been a moving command grab. Alright, what's the recovery option? Throwing out minecart to make himself a little safer. Bankai's doing a really good job, like, throwing out these safe aerials. That was really good shield pressure. Okay. Ooh. Uh, yeah. I was just watching the uh, video Beefy Smash dudes did a little while earlier today about who can make it through the blocks, but I don't remember how ZSS fares on that. Yes. Man, tether privilege? What is this, Smash 4? <laughs> Although, the thing is, is that it's kind of, uh, I don't want to say rare to see stone, but it feels less common than you would expect, because when you're laying stuff down, it goes for the uh, least valuable stuff first, and you get a lot of dirt while you're mining. <laughs> so it's only if she, is she able to tether? that Steve has too much to, uh... Oh! Jeez! Okay, that was pretty good. That like was that pretty line. good. Such an interesting... See, like, that's the stuff that I'm talking about with setup stuff, too, is, like, smashes that are kind of in the air because you create your own platforms. That's really neat. No, I think that's actually um, a really cool idea, especially because you can destroy the, uh, platforms using those things. And, like, the TNT thing is also pretty cool. Yes. Like, when he's able to set it up properly. Um, and it's, it's a little annoying sometimes, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely think this character will come with a lot of, like, you know, gimmicky stuff that'll hit a lot of people that have never seen it. And there's going to be a lot of stuff people won't see with this character, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Like that! I was just thinking about that! So that up B, when you do it straight like that, doesn't have a whole lot of recovery on it, and it has a hitbox. So that's like a... Uh, a really good way to get back to mid-stage sometimes if you just throw it out occasionally. Earth, the anvil does have a uh, landing hitbox. So. It's weird to think that it's technically a stall and fall, but also a projectile. Yeah, no, it's kind of nuts, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good attempts to... Oh, for real? Yeah, I mean, good DI, though. From, uh, it, so, is the DI <laughs> on... Ooh. What does that kill?! <laughs> <laughs> There's something really surprising about that killing. I don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's be I think it's because the kick is like so quick and it doesn't have a whole lot of weight attached to the animation, so it's just like, eh, goodbye. Hold on, look. Yeah, He's flicking really... him away. This definitely has like a Diddy... Either correct way. It has Diddy, um, <laughs> it has Diddy forward throw slash back throw 
um, vibes to it where it just happens instantaneously and you just have to be ready for it every time. Looked like his DI was good too. That's the funny thing. He looked like he was ready for it. Yeah, he might have been on the verge of being able to survive it. He was just off by a little bit. Or he might have just been unsurvivable. But for some reason, the game was like, this is not 100% certain. It's... That kill flash is like so unreliable as an uh, actual thing. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the part where I actually plug I Rebel of Aether because they actually do it the really smart way. Where they have two different ones. One where it's like, when it, it's guaranteed to happen regardless of DI. And the other one where it's only possible if, uh, if you don't DI at all. Oh, I see. That's really cool. Yeah. Like when you get the uh, the guaranteed DI, uh, the guaranteed death one, it's always purple. When you get the one that's, uh, that's going to happen, but you can DI it to survive, it's white. Let's see. Cool, I never knew that about uh, Rivals. I've been watching it a little bit because John's been streaming it, but uh, I'll have to keep that in mind. I, I yeah, love little really touches neat. like that. This, it's honestly, really like, I'm really glad that we have such, like, interesting ways to read this game. Like, the little blue line to tell, um, Jackson with the direction that you go, stuff like that. Just little tiny things, double jump indicators. I know that not all of that stuff is new, but... Okay, canonically, Steve cannot build a block inside of a half-width block. What the hell, Nintendo? Come on! <laughs> I actually don't understand why he's allowed to build it inside of a block. That's actually kind of weird, if I'm being totally honest. Because well, they were, uh, they didn't want to have to bother, like, trying to plat uh, program around the platform for the grid system. Yo, okay. So, did you see that parry from Bankai? That was pretty sick. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. I wonder if he's labbed that and he tried to go for it the first time, or if that was an adaptation on the fly of, like, okay, I have to be ready for this the next time. Look at that! So, yeah, I really love that use of the blocks by Uncertain to force Bankai to either let him mine, or to just... <laughs> Oh, and he's so dead! <laughs> yeah, I like the use, the use of the blocks by, uh, by Uncertain to force Bonkai to let him just mine. Like, other, or just come in in a really bad position. Ooh, we got some pretty decent combos up in here, too. Yeah, Steve's got, like, so much impossible big brain plays, and then he's got, like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna minecart, and then I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna put down a straight line, and then I'm gonna mine. I do actually, I really think it's neat how you can uh, put down the blocks, like one up in oh, the air, and dead. then do minecart under it. <laughs> control space. By Steve. Yeah. Put the iron on board. There's another Minecraft song. Doesn't sound like any other song. Nice, the conversion into flip kick. We've been seeing that a lot. That, uh, I assume that's Nair into flip kick. I'm watching it. Yeah, in so that's, window. that's another DI check. It isn't it isn't true on the majority of the cast, uh, unless, like, you're super heavy. Uh, but if you DI it incorrectly, it is basically, it's, it's a, it becomes a DI. I see. And if the uh, DI is good, does that mean that nothing, uh, there's no follow-up hit at all, or it just gets the weak hit of the uh, kick? It just like gets the weak see. hit, or it just okay. doesn't, like, connect at all. It really depends on the character, like, weight and gravity. It's fair. Yo, what was that? Crawl was backwards, down air, bro. jump into... No, I know that was down air, but that option of crawl back and jump up instant down air was, like... Nutty. It was an option. <laughs> was, uh, well, you're not wrong. It was definitely an option. It's just like, he hit me with it. He mixed <laughs> me up with it. I wasn't ready for it. Uh, whip spacing out a little bit. That's definitely hard to, like, come down. St oh, that's a punish. Yes. You're good? The eye check. Oh my gosh, dude. He just does it. Oh my gosh. Like, this guy's trying to get me to play neutral. Oh my gosh, Scratch. Look, my dad bought me this minecart for my 16th birthday, okay? I'm out of here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's that's uh, Devin's thing. I can't jack that for him. I'm on his stream. Hey, Devin, where's our, where's our streams match? Oh, yeah. Yo, look at how stupid that, that is! It finally happened! It finally got caught in the vortex. Why, did, why does minecart tick grab into itself? That's so crazy. Alright, the DI. Got him off stage. Cool, this is going. That's 
Lantern doesn't have a jump, but he made it back anyways. I'm actually surprised that uh, Manga didn't punch that hard. Oh, and that's oh, just it. That's going to be the stock. Nice. You just did the... There wasn't that many spaces that... Uh... So there's something that about Steve that like you really need to note is the fact that his air mobility isn't that great. So when he drops mm -hmm. blocks like that, he doesn't have that many options like for getting past you if you have like a super big move like that. Not only his air mobility, but um, mobility in general, you know, ground speed, air speed. His jump height is, I, I don't know that it's the worst in the game, but it's down there. It's really bad. So the ways he can mix up uh, trying to get around you is kind of limited. He's more relying on his tools and relying on you to make a wrong call to get what he wants. So that was really good at Bankai. He stood his ground really solidly at the ledge there. Like, it would have been easy to try to rush forward and try to pull on something, but he called him out. Yeah, and just like that, we have a uh, two three O's. Uh, looks like they misreported it uh, by mistake. Amazing, guys. Why, why do I have to keep resetting sets in order to, to put in the right score, guys?